us that Jonathan Ross, who, by the way, was the introduction to my new book, uh, he's, he's a big celebrity in England, but here he's, he's Mr. Comic, uh, a fanboy, and he champions comics along the way with, with an acid tongue, but, but still, I think it's, it's on the way to what we're going to see. So even though it's a rocky road uh, of being in comics, and I always say it's a very tough buck to make. Uh, I, I think uh, I think the future is very bright for the medium, and it's it's going to be very exciting. And I think we probably have better artists today working in the comics medium than ever ever before. So, so with that, I would just say vote for me in November. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell us a little about your new book. Yes. Well, <laughs> My new book, it's, it's uh, the new uh, Supernatural War collection. For anyone who doesn't know what Supernatural War is, it, it used to be called Wolfenberg Counselors of the Macabre, and it's about two attorneys that represent the supernatural and the supernaturally afflicted. So who's scarier than Frankenstein? His attorneys. <laughs> so as you see, it's a, it's a humorous book, and uh, but I play it straight, and this collection uh, collects six issues from the long-running comic book, including uh, an episode featuring Mavis, which is their intrepid secretary. Uh, she has no problem with the supernatural or monster clients, but real life, like boyfriends or parents living in Astoria, Queens, that's a little much for her, and she could be a little high-strung with that. But but she's a trooper, and I, I think every, everyone that meets her loves her, so she's got her own story in this book as well. And what made this book uh, different from the rest in the series is that this was my first Kickstarter project, which was an education onto itself. And talking about the comics medium, I think that's the next step as far as self-publishing and uh, independent comics are going. But if anyone has any questions, you can, you know, feel free to ask me a little later. But it was very exciting and and very encouraging. To, to get the Kickstarter support on it. Uh, so that was a treat. In the future, though, if anyone wants to do Kickstarter, make sure you include postage in your asking price mm -hmm. because that was that was something we didn't count on. And interestingly enough, Jimmy Palmiotti had the same problem. So you like the way I name dropped him. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that's number six in the series, the first one here. And uh, it, I, I feel like I've been all through uh, every step of the, the comics ladder. It started as a, Wolfenberg started as a uh, newspaper strip uh, in a local paper. Then it, then it went national in the National Law Journal. So uh, the, the good news was I had a national audience. The, the bad news were they were all lawyers. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but then it became a comic book uh, in the early 90s. And uh, even though it's, it's, it's somewhere in between comic book and book, it's also a web comic, which is in full color. So every, every step's been exciting, and every step's been, like I say, a learning experience. So if anyone has any questions, I could pass that experience on to anybody that wants to know. All right, now, back to, my, back to the election. 